Today's route is to the south side of the Cairngorms National Park to a range of mountains named Bain Aglaw. The route itself is just over 12 miles long and takes in three Munros, so it's going to be quite a tough day. Morning folks, it's a cold Wednesday morning and I've just arrived at the car park for Bain uh, This one's just outside Pintlochry near Blair Athol. Um, there's three Munro tops on it today. Some of them have quite interesting names. So we've got Carn Leah first. And here's my personal favourite one, probably the longest Munro name I've heard. Bray Coya Chrun Valachian. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And then Carn and uh, last of all. I've got plenty of daylight though, I think I've got about 12 hours or 11 hours of daylight today. The sun's just starting to rise now, so I'm here in plenty of time. Yeah, looking forward to it. So the sun's starting to come up now, and I'm almost at the base of the first Munro, just up there. That's Carnelia. I think the total ascent today is roughly 1,200 metres. Uh, so that's four three Munros, which isn't too bad to be honest. If you think Ben Nevis is about 1,300. So I think once we get up on top, I'm expecting, according to the map, it should be pretty flat. I think we go around a nice little ridge uh, to the second Munro, so we should get some good views along there. And there's a, down a little Bialik and back up to Karnangor at the end. Should be a good little day. The weather forecast is supposed to be absolutely roasting again today. There's a bit of frost and stuff on the ground just now, but I don't think it's going to be here for long once the sun comes up. So we'll probably be getting the jacket off soon and getting started up this big hill. Should be the, in the Olympics for that. So I'm almost at the summit now. I believe that's the summit just up there. Just stopped for a little water break and look at the views. Absolutely stunning. There's a little bit of fog in the way up in the car and you can see it just down there in the glen, the cloud. You see it going all the way up into the distance over there. Must be a little temperature inversion going on. I have to admit it was, I did feel a lot colder down, down at the car park there. Once I started getting up the hill it actually got warmer. And not just because I was working out. You can see over a distance there, I've got Ben Varaki. Um, the route back today is going to bring me back along the front of this hill here and down along and back to the car. It's going to be quite a long route back, but hopefully the sun will stay, stay out and it should be nice. But yeah, really amazing scenery up here today. It's days like this when you get the perfect, perfect weather, it just makes it worthwhile. Look at this for a view. You can see over there I've got Karnan Gore, that's where I'll be ending up later on today. And just over here is Braikoya Hrun Valachin. Cracking name that, every time I say it, <laughs> it's great. Um, so I'm going to be following the ridge down there. It's going to take me along and up over there, up to the top of the next Munro. Absolutely beautiful weather here. It's just sunny all round. Couldn't have asked for better. And the route back today is going to bring me back down over here. It's going to bring us back along down the quarry and back to the path down the bottom there. So it's a fair distance to go yet, but still feeling fresh and really, really enjoying myself. So it's worth it. All right then, let's get going.
started my ascent up Braikoya Hroon Valachen. So it looks like a fair old climb this one. I thought when I looked at the map earlier it was kind of a flat ridge right round, but I was wrong. It's quite a quite a dip down behind me there you can see uh, from a way up top there. Um, so yeah that definitely adds to the 1200 meter ascent we've got to do today. Um, seems like a fairly nice track though, it's all rubble and boulders so it's pretty easy going. Just gonna take my time, get to the top, have some lunch up there I think and enjoy the views. I was just thinking to myself there on the way up, do you know how you always get the Scottish guy in the pub who's just talking absolute rubbish? Nobody really understands what he's saying, you just think he's too drunk. Well, I think what's actually happening, my theory is, they're actually just trying to tell people which hills they've been up. Just sitting in the corner like, oh, Nobody's got a clue what they're saying. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, just trying to entertain myself here and take my mind off the pain of climbing this hill. Let's get to the top. Made it to the summit of Braikoya Hroon Valachen. I'm really gonna miss saying that one. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful up here. The sun's just beating down on me. The wind's calmed down a bit and it's just really nice and warm. There's a weird like misty haze hanging about down in the, the glens and stuff, so you can just see the highest tops popping their heads out. It's really nice views. I'm just gonna stop to have a wee bite to eat now, have some pork pies, and then contemplate moving over to Karna Gore. So I've got to get a wee bit back down to go and then back up, but I think Carnegore is going to be the highest one today. Uh, Braikoya Karun Valachen is, I think, 1,070 metres high. Hopefully get some good views from over there as well. To the north side of the mountain, and the reason I wanted to come here is because there's a loch down there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Loch Loch. That's right, Loch Loch does exactly what it says in the tin. lower down now and it's getting a lot hotter down here. It's getting a little bit boggy as well on this return path. There's lots of little rivers coming off the sides coming down into the main one. So just making my way, just making my way down here trying to get back to the car as quick as I can. Oh yeah. <laughs> Keep getting scared by grouse and hiding in the heather next to me. Keep flying it right in front of my face. Crazy birds. Starting to see the route quite clearly in the distance now. Looks like I'm going down here to cross the river, and then onto that nice little track over there, and round over there. almost home and dry. That walk back was absolutely so hard, so just so hard. I think it's about six miles, six and a half miles, ten, just over 10k. Just oh, legs absolutely burning. Um, met a nice, met the first people I've seen all day back there. It's a nice old couple out for a walk. And our guys got up to do a wild camp up there tonight. Uh, pretty, I envy them, there'll be nice views up there. Yeah, with the sunset and stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit windy at the top though, so. Hopefully his tent will be okay. Yeah. 
nearly there on the home straight. So that's all from Benahor. See you all next time.